Alrighty, well hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Tireless God here bringing you this week's update, which is the Nexus. The Nexus is an activity for all those low level players who want to get their prayer level up but don't want to spend the money. So if you are a high level player, I would highly suggest not doing the Nexus as the experience per hour is really low. If you are interested in participating in this event, you should go to the Lumbridge Swamp right about here and you will see an activity star where the Nexus will be held. To start this minigame, you're going to want to find the NPC Yasandria. Once you found her, you're going to want to right click on her and get Charm Sat, because that is the item you are going to need for this activity. Once you've got it, you're going to realize it's going to have a few options, one being check contents. And as you can see, it can hold 15 corruption right now, but as you use it more and more, it'll be able to hold up to 25. Now to start this minigame off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring your sack up to where all those hands are in the middle, and you are going to want to start collecting different kinds of corruption. After your sack is full, you're going to want to run over to one of the pillars in the area and fill up one of the bowls with the corruption that you have in your sack. Now on each tower, there are four different kinds of bowls you can fill up. One being fealty, one being order, the other being battle, and the last being chaos. So what exactly does each bowl mean? Well, each different bowl will give off a different colored stream. As you can see here, there's some red, white, and blue ones. The gold bowl, which is fealty, will give you a white stream. Silver bowl, order, will give you a blue stream. Bronze bowl, the battle, will give you a red stream. And the pewter bowl, chaos, will give you a purple stream. The purpose of this mini game is to coordinate a team that will get all different colors going into the center at the same time. As you see here, we have the purple, blue, white, and red. Now after a certain amount of time, all the streams will turn orange and uh, the thing will reset and you will have to do it again. If you can reset it five times, a creature called the Grotesque will come out. As you can see here, we have reset it five times and the Grotesque spawns right there in the middle. All you have to do is simply click on it and you will banish it and after that you will get some bones in your inventory. These bones give off varying experience with level 1 being 168 experience and anything past level 40 is 1.2k experience. You will be able to train in this area until you get up to 37,224 experience which is the exact experience required for level 40. I hope this guide helped you guys out and good luck to all you low levels out there trying to get your prayer up. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe for more videos here from RuneZone.